Hey, people of Earth. This is Toad. Uh, so, still between seasons. Season 3 is approaching. Uh, and, uh, working on the new set surrounding me. Uh, so, I'll give you some very brief glimpses of that that are, you know, maybe half a second long or something. Also, uh, gonna check in with Scully. Hey, Scully, what are you up to? Uh, this and that, I guess. I, uh, have a new, uh, well, I can't really talk because I suck at this. Okay. Um. Well, I can't really talk either, because I suck at this too. Um, maybe we should write some more, some more scripts. Um, yeah, we should probably write some more scripts. Uh, yeah, otherwise uh, I'm just like some douchebag that's talking into a webcam, I guess. Um, Welcome to YouTube. Uh, okay, so how about a product review? Okay. Um, so let me grab something from the cargo hold. How about this? This is really cool. Uh, it's a Microsoft Sidewinder game controller. Look at this. Oh, I gotta change the lighting. It's getting reflected on. That looks pretty good, though. Uh, if anyone has any tips on removing this Microsoft logo, that'd be great. But I did manage to scrape all the stickers off, including the information on the back. This thing is old, and it's, it's amazing. I tried it out recently on uh, my Pi Zero with RetroPie that I'm calling the little black box and I'll, I'll, I'll bust it out and show you an update a bit soon. It's USB, uh, but it's really old and uh, it's thick plastic. Uh, you can kind of see the quality it's all ribbed and it's very tough um, and thick uh, ribbed for his pleasure oh just kidding uh, you know because it's it's inside out uh, anyway um, so in the d-pad I really like it uh, it's kind of angled with the uh, handle here so it's not straight up and down uh, but it works I mean it, it's when you press it it's normal north south you know uh, and in, instead of a cross shaped it's kind of indented in the middle and the four corner points are elevated uh, it works well and it's it's got a nice feel it's not I don't know like you're touching nothing but it's not difficult it, it lets you know that you touched a button it feels good and these buttons do as well uh, this would this would be my new go-to but there's a problem even though retropy knows exactly what it is and detects it immediately 
There's no start and select button. It's just, it doesn't have them. Uh, it's got wonderful triggers on the back that you press downward. Nice feel, nice sound, great placement. I love this thing. Uh, plug it in and it works. It's great, except there's no start and select buttons. Um, so I was like, well, what am I going to do with this? You know, uh, I thought, okay, what about, I don't know, NES? And then I'm like, no, because I really like to have my turbo buttons, you know, because I'm, I'm a big cheater. Uh, I, I don't consider it cheating. I just, I'm not nuts about just constant button mashing, you know. I like to have the auto, auto fire. Uh, so I thought, well, what else could... And it dawned on me. Uh, the perfect emulated system for this Microsoft Sidewinder. Which, by the way, is ultra cheap. You can get these on eBay all day long for $10. This one was 8 and it needed some cleanup uh but yeah 10 bucks uh they're used they're old but this thing is a really high quality build and it's it's a tank this thing is i don't know how you would even break it and it's old and it's not worn out at all it's like new uh it's it's kind of stiff which you you'd expect from a brand new controller and then you would think it would loosen up over time and maybe I got lucky and this thing was barely used at all but I suspect instead it's it's a high quality build and it's still tight uh, it's a little stiff if you don't like that you might not like it but I, I, I really like the response to these buttons and and d-pad just excellent so, yeah, but what are you going to use it for with no start and select buttons? Well, with RetroPie, I thought of one system that it would be perfect for because you can program the buttons. And it's Game Boy Advance. Now, so, uh, use your turbo buttons, program them as the start and select buttons. So you got your awesome D-pad, awesome AB awesome uh triggers lr whatever you call them uh shoulders uh and you got your start and select microsoft sidewinder it it's a clear smoke color which i really enjoy i love that uh a lot of people claim that there are green ones i would love to find a green one because well look at me uh It'd be an even better controller for me if it was, but uh, honestly, I think it's the circuit board inside it being reflected as a green color. So I don't think there are actually green ones. But if anybody has seen one with actual green plastic instead of this smoke gray, uh, clear black, whatever you call it, uh, let me know, because uh, I'd like to pick one of those up. So yeah, Microsoft Sidewinder. Uh, also, i got to get this logo off of there. I don't want to sand it, because then i got to paint it. And I like the clear black. Uh, I thought about, you know, like acetone, but that'll yeah, eat, you'll eat right through plastic, the plastic, even though it'll, too. it'll take the paint right off. Yeah, it'll take uh, the plastic right off. So I don't well. know. I'll give it some thought. But uh, Microsoft Sidewinder. Uh, still has a use today. RetroPie Game Boy Advance. I recommend it for that. I don't know what other use, and it's a shame because it's a great controller. Uh, but for ten bucks, pick it up for that. Check it out. See what you think, or don't. You know, it's 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 uh, it's your dime. But I would. I think it's great. Um, so. Anyway, that that's my that's my review, or my show and tell, or whatever the hell this was. Um, 
I'll chop it up so it's not quite so hideously long and bad. Um, hey, Scully, you you wanna you wanna try again to to say something? Um. Well, I uh, I guess I could uh, play some finger drums. Yeah, cool. All right, play some finger drums. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna watch Scully play some finger drums, uh, and uh, he's he's gonna play us out and join us next time. Uh, even though we're we're between seasons, we're still kind of doing stuff. Subscribe if you want to, but you know we we've already got over a hundred subscribers, and that's the most that anyone can have. I don't think that's the. It's the most that anyone can have. Right. You are the biggest idiot in space. Okay, so uh, see you next time on Star Space Presents. I think I'm going to change the name to Star Space Presents because uh, it'll turn up in the search. That's I'll be the top hit in the search. So uh, same stupid show, but the new title again but this time I, th I think i think we're going to stick with star space presents because it's searchable you can actually when you when you type that in uh we're the first uh show that anyway okay gonna go bye